My name is Vincent Naples. I am the creative director from Canvas. Subchroma, like less than color, one of the concepts behind that name and behind this event. We invite people to become a part of the composition. By using an immersive projection mapped environment, the users themselves become a part of the artwork. Canvas is a community of artists and musicians, creators who are mostly from the Chicagoland area. My name is Elizabeth Margulis and I go by Big Hair Big City. I am the fashion director for Subchroma. The costumes for this year, the best way to describe it is Cher meets Las Vegas Showgirls. As they walk, they're just gonna be like swaying through and you're gonna just and just follow them and kind of like fall in love with them and the movement. And my girls are always the most photographed girls of the event, even though Subchrome and herself, there's so much to see and so much to do. I brought my girl Giselle, who is the queen of Lucite. You know, we've been talking about it since last year, so it's like perfect timing for us to do it this year. This tunnel is really incredible as a venue. And I think this is a great opportunity for us to really explore this gigantic canvas. You know, we're gonna have a 120 foot wide projection surface. A lot of what we're featuring is interactive moving image artwork that can be controlled via any cellular telephone. I guess tell everyone we're white past Labor Day. Like, come on, that's the best thing. And by allowing people to interact with the piece and have some degree of control, I think is an engaging way for, for people to contribute to the overall experience. There's, there's not a whole lot of events and exhibitions in the U.S. that are really focused on the digital artist. And that's one of the things that we're really aiming to do here in Chicago as well is give a home to digital artists and to people who are working with the avant-garde in terms of this medium. The thing about Canvas is there's just so many artists. Just on this sub promo, we have 70 different people involved. Canvas started in 2012, kind of built around a DIY community in Wicker Park. DIY communities aren't anything new. You could look at Warhol's warehouse and, and see kind of how a scene of artists and creators can evolve together. When I first started off in Chicago, it was just so segregated, like it was so clicky. It's amazing because Canvas touches so many different groups of people and it gives us a chance to unite. We're definitely a lot scrappier than, than the established art scene. Kind of making it happen with what you've got is the DIY ethos and so that usually means pulling together a lot of resources and janking together a sound system, projectors, making it happen. It's stressful as f but um, you know, I think we all kind of thrive in uh, some sort of state of organized chaos. <laughs>